Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make some carnivore crackers. I call them carnivore because it's all animal based. It's egg whites, cheese, and butter. I know some people don't consider cheese to be carnivore, but it's made from animal products. So anyway, yeah, there you go. In my bowl here, I have four egg whites and I'm going to add half teaspoon of salt. I'm making the most basic version today. You could add some garlic powder to this. You could add some chili powder, cumin, whatever you want to add. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start with that. Sometimes I add pepper too, but I'm just doing it simple, simple today. And I'm gonna beat these on high until they form stiff peaks. That's pretty good. That's about where I want it. So I'm going to throw in one cup of mozzarella and just kind of fold it in. You could also use cheddar if you want. Cheddar actually makes it taste like Cheez-Its. And now I'm gonna spread this out on a flat pan covered with a silicone mat. I don't think you can use parchment paper for these, but if you try it, please let me know. Um, I think that par this would actually stick too much to the parchment paper. And I like to use an offset spatula. You don't have to, you can use a spoon or like the spatula I was just using and just try to make it as even as possible and very, very thin. You're going to have some gaps and that's okay. It's going to fill in. So just try to fill it out as even as possible. And this is going to go into a 400 degree oven and bake for 15 minutes. And then I'll show you what the next step is. So here's what it looks like after 15 minutes. These are not done though. What I'm gonna do is loosen it up some. I don't want it sticking to this pan. And cut it in half only because I want it to be easier to flip I'm going to brush it all with four tablespoons of melted butter. Now this makes it pretty salty, which I happen to like it like this. If you don't like your crackers as salty, you can use unsalted butter or decrease the amount of salt you added in the first place. I'm going to take one half of it off for now and cut the rest off. Could never get them all the same size. I'm terrible. And spread them out. Now let's put them in for another five minutes. Five minutes gives me one finished cracker. So the rest of these will go in for maybe like two to three more minutes. 
as I'm cutting up the next batch to turn into crackers, I was thinking about the texture here and how this could totally be, like if you left it plain, it could totally be a wrap for a sandwich. But I, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so now starts the process of removing the ones that are done, putting on the ones that aren't done, and you just keep cycling through like every about two minutes, I would say. It looks burnt, but it's not. Final result. You hear how crispy that is? I know they are not burnt. They're just nice and brown and crunchy. So I will eat these with something like uh, chicken salad or egg salad. Um, I also made a dip. I can't remember what the dip was. I did a sweet version of these though, where I didn't have as much salt and we were dunking them in, oh man, what was it? I can't remember some other kind of concoction, but man, it was good. Anyway, I hope you try them. Please let me know if you do and what you think of them. I know it is kind of a time commitment there at the end where you have to keep swapping them out and stuff like that, but I can tell you it's worth it. I leave these at room temperature just in a airtight container. And I mean, they keep four. We've had them out for at least two weeks and they were still good. So there you go.